Namaskar PM Modi G, Chairman Somanath G, Australian colleagues, distinguished guests, researchers, students and Indian space entrepreneurs. My name is Enrico Palermo and I'm head of the Australian Space Agency. Although I'm unable to be with you in person at the inaugural Development of Space Startup Ecosystem in India conference, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to speak with you today. India is an important international space partner for Australia. Through our comprehensive strategic partnership with India, we have been investing in the structures we require to do more together across the spectrum from space startup collaboration to major government to government projects. Australia continues to look at ways to enhance our space collaboration with India, and I'll share four key examples. The first is our memorandum of understanding on cooperation across space sectors. The second is Australia supporting the inspirational Gaganyaan human spaceflight mission. The third is the planned establishment of our Consulate General and a joint Australia-India Centre of Excellence on Critical and Emerging Technology Policy in Bengaluru. And finally, fourth, is 144 crore rupee or $25 million Australian expansion of the India International Space Investment Initiative, or India EC, supporting engagement with ISRO and the broader Indian space sector. Early this month, I had a conversation with ISRO Chairman Somanath. We are working hard to ensure sustained interaction among space entities of both nations as trusted partners. And I thank Chairman Somanath for his leadership in this respect. The momentum across Australia's space sector continues. Like India, our commercial space sector is rapidly growing. It's a very exciting time, and we are producing incredibly unique and innovative space technologies that can and will support our international partners and space missions in the future. We have unique competitive advantages in Australia to offer in Earth observation, communication technologies and services, and robotics and automation. We also have the capacity to contribute to India's human spaceflight ambitions, particularly in space health and life sciences. The Australian Government is committed to space and opening doors to international collaboration. To date, the Government has committed well over $2 billion Australian since establishing the Australian Space Agency in 2018. And recent announcements I'll touch upon through the Agency will continue to drive this momentum forward creating even more opportunities for Australia to continue succeeding in the space domain. Our $1.2 billion National Space Mission for Earth Observation will take Australia from a long-term space consumer to a space contributor in a critical area, not just for Australia, but the planet. The mission will be led by the Australian Space Agency alongside our great partners, Geoscience Australia, the CSIRO, the Bureau of Meteorology and Defence. We know that startups can be the lifeblood of innovation in any sector. In Australia, we make special efforts to encourage our space startups to share their technology, their talent, and become commercially viable. You'll be hearing more from one such success story, Space Machines Company, later today. We are also fast-tracking our access to space to enable the co-investment in spaceport development and infrastructure in our nation, a regulatory framework for human spaceflight launches and returns, and spaceflight procurement to enable more Australian technology to get out of the lab and into space. Government grants and initiatives assist small to medium enterprises and startups to drive the sector forward. I'm hopeful that our new EC initiative will be able to unlock more opportunities for Australian organisations to collaborate with you, India's rapidly accelerating space industry in areas like satellite communications, navigation systems, earth observation and big data analytics. We will work with ISRO, InSpace and NISL to identify mutual priority areas for defining the EC grant guidelines and the consideration of Indian companies partnering and co-investing with Australian companies on forthcoming projects. I'm also very pleased to announce that I will visit India later this year with an agency delegation to attend the Bengaluru Space Expo on the 5th to 7th September at which Australia will be a country partner. I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in person and learning more about the incredible Indian space sector. I wish you all the very best for your conference and your endeavours in space. Thank you.